Hi, this is Edger Joe, and welcome to another video on Excel Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I want to show you some basic mathematical operators. So I've just prepared a sheet. We're still going to make the movie booking, uh, booking system. If I just show you um, on sheet uh, or tab 1 and tab 2, it's still what we've seen in the previous video, but I've just created um, another sheet just to show you some mathematical operators. I will delete this. Um, I'm just doing this for this uh, video. So. Um, the basic mathematical operators um, are plus minus uh, multiply and divide so you've got your add your subtract multiply and divide and the symbols for the uh, uh, these ones are actually uh, very similar to what you already know so a plus will look like that um, subtract is going to be um, as you know uh, one of those multiply is going to be slightly different if you're not used to this, uh, a multiplication is going to be an asterisk or a star. That'll be a multiplication because an X is seen as a letter in this case. And then divide is also not the way you used to in maths. It's going to be a forward slash. So that is your operators that you will use when you want to add. You use a plus sign, subtract uh, uh, the hyphen or the minus sign. Uh, multiply is a asterisk or a star. Divide is that. So let's quickly jump into this. So let's say I want to add these three numbers together. There's a number of ways to do it. I'll just do a basic way right now. And on very simple terms, you always start any function or formula with an equal sign. And remember in the very first video we spoke about cell references. So I want to show you now that if you always stick to cell references, you can probably never make uh, a mistake on purpose anyway. So if you click on that cell, so we want to add that cell, and then we put a plus sign to this cell, another plus sign and then the cell over here so that is how you can add those three cells together so if I enter there is the answer and if you have to add all of these together just like before remember the full handle so if I go to the bottom right there click and drag down that's all of them calculated and then if you have a look over here if I go down this list you can see that I've um, copied down the formula so I only had to put the formula in once and it copies it down all the way. The same with subtract. So if I start over there um, and I say right I want to have this cell minus this cell minus this cell and I enter and that is the answer and then I can also copy that down using the full handle. Uh, multiplication exactly the same. I'm sure you're starting to get the idea now. So that one multiplied by this one multiplied by this one gives me a bigger number and then I'll just copy that down again if I just click on these you can see over there that's the multiplication inside there and then the divide identical so I'm going to take that one divide it by this one divide it by this one and I'm just showing you this in terms of uh, how the operators work this don't see this as any huge mathematical lesson or something like that I'm just want to sh I'm just showing you how you can do basic very basic maths um, using this. Also if we want to add up the totals uh, total like that, I'll just put it there and then you can do the same thing, you can do that one plus that one plus that one and so on but I will show you a quite a quick way how to do this so if I go um, actually let me just go backwards slightly so I showed you how to do this uh, let's call it the long way. If I delete those um, then I can go there and I'll show you a sum function while I'm busy with this. So equal sum a function always has a word in it and it's, there's always brackets that's going to come after that. You get a bit of a hint here but if I say equal sum open bracket and I do that range from B3 to D21 B3 all the way to D21 and there you can see B3 colon D3 just like I explained in the very first video that you would have seen. And I enter you still get the same answer but there's your function I copy that down it does exactly the same and you can see it's all some functions now but still the same answers right and you can also do the same with this one you can say equal sum open bracket highlight your range close bracket and enter and then you get your answer but there's an even quicker way for this last one if I just click and drag if this is the the place where I want the answer click and drag upwards I go to on the home tab I go to the auto sum click on it once boom and it's done and you can see it does the same thing that you typed in that's an auto sum that's a quick way of doing it and then again you can copy this across using the full handle and you will now see the sum function going all the way that side so I've showed you the basic operators uh, add subtract multiply divide 
I showed you how to use a sum function and I showed you the auto sum function over there. You can also do combinations um, of it. So you can have, for example, if I just I'll just do one over there. So if I say equal, um, I want to let's say I want to do that one, and then I want to add to this one. And uh, oops, I was supposed to put in I was supposed to put in brackets. Has it done it? Let me just see. I'll put in a bracket and close the bracket there we go and then I can say for example divide by I don't know this one so you can see there it's equal b3 plus c3 divided by uh, d3 I enter that and you can also do maths in the same way like that so those are the basic math operators with a function called sum which I showed you how to do thank you for watching